The homes sit in rows. They're proud homes. They sit in the shadows of the steel mills of Lorraine. They sit on 28th Street. This is where Dick Desich grew up, a child of the 40s and 50s, raised in a hard scrabble place in time. I think it's, it's important to understand that my father came from, from very humble beginnings that I think anyone can relate to. If Dick Desich was to make it out, he'd have to find something to hold on to. He'd need something solid. I think if you ask my dad about the foundation of his success, I think education will be the very cornerstone of that uh, from the time that uh, he'll talk about uh, when he was in the Navy uh, and he picked up uh, a couple years of uh, credits at the community college out in California where he was stationed and then came back and, and got his four-year degree. Uh, that was his launching pad into the business world and to the success that he uh, achieved later in life. My father's 71 years old, and he's still focused on, on learning and growing. Dick Desich graduated from Ohio State nearly 50 years ago, 1965. He went looking for stability. Funny thing about stability, you need to take a few risks along the way to achieve it. One day, Dick Desich came home from work, and he told his wife to go get her purse. They were going to the bank. She said, Why are we going to the bank? And my dad said, well, we're going to borrow some money. And my mom said, well, how much money are we going to borrow? And he said, a million dollars. And she said, well, what do you need a million dollars for? You know, this is in the mid-70s, and my father was probably making $10,000 a year, if that, at the time. And uh, he said, we're going to buy a shopping center. And she said, well, what if we can't pay the money back? And he said, I'll just get a job. And I think that really defines my father uh, and really his entrepreneurial spirit. And the fact that in life you've got to take risks. Desich came home to Lorraine, not afraid to fail, and invested in himself. He became an entrepreneur. And he was so successful at it, his company, Equity Trust Today, now three decades later, administers nearly $11 billion in assets for over 130,000 people nationwide. Along the way, he invested in our community too. In 1970, he was appointed to the Board of Trustees at Lorraine County Community College. He was 31 years old. I think my dad, at, at the end of the day, remembers where he came from and that he's a, a Lorraine boy who, who grew up and, and had some challenges and just like the region has had some challenges economically and, and he knew that that college and how important it would be to the region to help retool people uh, away from the manufacturing based economy that was there when he was growing up into, into the future. He knew that that was absolutely crucial. So uh, it's his way of giving back to the community he wanted to serve on the board. The thing that really stands out about Dick and the college is his dedication to the college. Dick truly believed in the college. He was dedicated to the college and, he, and of course he did a lot of things to enhance the, not only the stature but the ability of the school to teach its students. When Dick Desich was at Ohio State, he played on the lacrosse team. Tough duty for one of the smallest guys on the team at five foot seven. But Dick always looked at the big picture. It's the same approach he brought to the board at Lorain County Community College. He led the creation of our foundation here that provides student scholarships. He led the acquisition of some 207 acres of land so the college would always have room to grow and he constantly pushed for the college to consider how it could help business and job creation. He's extremely proud. I mean, he'll, he'll talk uh, many times about where it was in the 60s when he came aboard and uh, to where it is today as a, really a leading institution, uh, one of the best community colleges in the country. I think that the college has really been a, a, a tremendous pillar in my father's life, or very important to him, because it's really been a, an outlet that's allowed him to take this passion for education uh, and for personal development and really has helped him or allowed him to help tens of thousands of people improve their lives. Dick has been great for the school and he will continue to do things for the benefit of the school. And he's a credit to the institution and the institution owes him a great deal of thanks.